Yeah, I mean, soon it'll be like evening all. Yeah. Don't need a beer. Yeah. Oh. You alright, Rich? Yeah, just going. Do you want that light off? Um, no, no, no. Oh, try the light off, Charlotte. Hi, Grandma again. Is that better? Oh yeah, yeah, that is better. Yeah. Couple hours, so. Yeah. You join me while I'm just pouring this nice <clears throat> porter out. So just give us a sec. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's like autopilot there, Please. isn't it? Oh, stop it. Okay, Charlotte, thank you. I just said hello um, to Right, so hello and welcome to the um, Bournemouth's Fantabulous Quiz, part four, lockdown two. Um, I am currently drinking a cold steeped porter from Siren Brewery. Um, just called Cold Blooded. Um, I won't bother with the tasting notes. Don't need to because it just looks gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I'm going to get the tasting notes then. Hello, Paul from Skegness. I'm assuming that's you, Paul Gray. Good to see you. Okay, so we've got eight minutes left. We've got six people joined already on the quiz, which is great. And uh, three people on here already. What do you mean, prattle on? Um, quiz excitement tonight. Few new rounds, not new rounds, but few old returning rounds from previous um, quizzes. Tried to shake it up a bit. Hi, Bernie. How are you doing? Um, unfortunately, the bad news is tonight that uh, no one turned up for Pictionary. And not only was it not Pictionary, it was actually um, a, code a coded scavenger hunt I'd prepared for you all. But, you know, I'll have to pass on to next week now. That's OK. I'm not too cross. Um, I did. I did call grandma. Yeah, we got nice. grandma, but well, you can't really do a, a uh, one with just one of us. So, anyway, so I'm just eating this brown porter, hmm. chocolatey base. Says it. Anyway, never mind. Thank you. It's just really nice. We'll keep it there. Paul's chat box seems to be working out, which is good news for us because that means lots of jokes tonight. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that is just this. This. Just this. What? So when does um, your uh, qu um, qu quiz start there? It's what good news, sorry. There, where do, when does your quiz start? <laughs> well, yeah, I see what you mean now, yes. Yeah, I do love the bass, yes. Um, so, yeah, a funny old week. Um Obviously found out we're in tier three now, is what it is. Um, I have to make the best of it, which means I'll be here for at least another, well, up until Christmas, I guess, um, and see what happens after that. Uh, Paul's chat working. Yes, is it a good thing? Well, it is, because it keeps it keeps conversation going, so that's fine. More evening, Helen. How are you doing? Welcome. We have six minutes left. Um, I best also announce, obviously, the code for tonight. Um, while we've got a few pe more people joining, the code for tonight is 605007. Okay, so, so you can easily remember the last three bits, but the first bit is 605007. And if nobody's recognized, I don't know what that means. It's the symbol of James Bond. Yeah, they know it's the symbol of James Bond, don't they? So, yeah, as I say, some returning rounds from weeks previous. Which I know one for one, the Herbans will be very excited about one of the rounds, which is back. Oh, um, wow, my mate Paul, I actually did him a round just for him, and he's too busy eating his tea. And uh, there's one just for Jack Bartley, and I don't know if he's going to be here either. So, um, doesn't matter, you know, we rock on, don't we? We carry on. Why are these colors? Oh, that is a lovely drink. Superb drink, some might say. So, yeah, it's Friday night. So, what have I done this week? I went for a mammoth walk yesterday for, I think it was nearly 12 miles. That was a great idea. So, my legs Mama's really hurt. 18.5 18, 18. kilometres, yes. Mm -hmm. And um, just been working otherwise. Mad volunteering day today. Absolutely oh, mental. Mad. Yeah. So many people. Um, I'm not telling you, Christine, what it is. 
Um, you should be able to read between the lines, yeah, but um, no, I'm not telling you what it is. Oh. Yeah, and there's the other two rounds coming back. Um, what oh, what are the three back rounds? Doesn't matter. Yeah, I know Vic will be very excited about one of the rounds that's coming back. Yeah, I don't know what that means. And? Anyway, we have oh, four okay. minutes left. Um, can anyone tell me what they've done this week? That would be great. Let's keep the chat flowing because I ain't got a lot more to tell you, really. It's been a quiet, well, not a quiet week, but just a funny old week. Kind of living in limbo in Lincolnshire at the moment. So um, what else has everyone done? Let's hear from you. Let me know. Tell me so we can talk about it. Um, Anything strange happened? Oh, oh. Uh, lovely jumper and collar on the show. Thank you, Richard Herman. Um, you'd appreciate the, the 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 shirt is actually a pretty green shirt, long sleeve polo shirt. Uh, I'm getting a bit hot already, so I might get that out in a minute. Um, oh. And the, the jumper is just a standard prime Arnie Name? three quid. Beam back. To normal. Oh, of course, Wales is back to normal, isn't it? Well, I think Wales will be good. Um, I suppose we should watch Wales as a kind of like idea of where we're going. Anyway, just getting naked. Not good. Oh, that's better. There we go. I've got my Weller shirt on now, so I'm all right. Okay, that's better. Because this is the long sleeve and you had the long sleeve. So we've got 15 on the quiz. We've got 10 on the stream, which is great. Um, as I say, returning rounds. I think one of the most balanced quizzes of all time tonight. Um, so Elliot Grundy has just announced he's missed out on the next part as he missed the email, email to tell him he'd got one. Oh, dear. Um, I've... Oh. Dear. Adam actually got one for his birthday slash Christmas because it's so blooming expensive. Um, I can't really tell the difference at the moment, but don't tell anyone. What? What? It, look, it, it starts up quicker. I mean, that's what you pay 450 quid for, isn't it? 450 quid? The Xbox was? Yeah. Oh, wow. You can buy a car for that. I know, Paul. I'm very jealous of your PS5. But because Adam's got a new Xbox, I get his old one. Cast-offs. It's fine. I can live with it. You need to show me, um, send me a video, Paul, of the um, menu screen or something. Yeah, just to make me even more jealous. Right, so we've got... <laughs> anyway, enough waffling about nerd stuff like that. We have 14 on the... Oh, just before I forget, I've just started God of War. Oh, my goodness, what a game. I've just... Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm thinking, yeah, Elliot, I am thinking maybe it's time, but, you know, I need, uh, we'll, we'll think about it. Anyway, stop with a nerd chat. We've got 14 people on, at least 11 of those Seven. people, 11 of those people do not care about video games. So, how are we all doing? We have one minute until the start of the quiz. Herman's picking up a PS5. Herman, you get a PS5. Why aren't I getting a PS5? Dad, you can go on the... Oh. I can't, because I spend all my money on you children. Anyway, no, so, got I some didn't... nice free games. Yes, I did get some nice free games. Thank you, Paula. I'm going to try The Last Guardian next. And Herman, I'm very incredibly jealous, and I do want an unboxing. <laughs> oh, pardon me. That's that he stout. Doesn't, he doesn't want an unboxing. He wants... So and... we're about to start on the quiz. Any second oh, yes, now, just for any any new people starting, it's 605 007. Here we go. One. Okay, it's time for name no, the video, video game. game. That is that test drive unlimited, oh. Carmageddon, or Destruction Derby. Is it test drive unlimited, Carmageddon, or Destruction Derby? You tell me. No, that's not correct. Oh, um. um... We have over 20 on the quiz. Get in. Oh, and Adam Frankel's doing it all the way from the US of A. Thank you, Adam. It is Destruction Derby, as 65% yes. of you said. A game which arrived on my PlayStation Classic last year. And then I realised the PlayStation Classic wasn't very good. Anyway, hello, Vic. It's nice to see you. I hope you got that one right. So, next question. Another returning round. Name Wrestler. 
Is that Ric Flair, David Flair, or is it Crowbar? Oh, you can see he's holding a crowbar. Ah, oh, so I know who it is. Okay, who is it? No, it's not crowbar. That's not the right answer. I'll tell you that right now. Hmm? That right it's... there is WCW wrestler David Flair. As 42% of you got. And I'm so happy my red herring of crowbar foxed over half of you. So well done. Okay, next question coming up in time for the start of the first proper round, if you like. I mean, they're, they're good. You know, they'll be interspersed throughout, so get ready. Oh, I'm so glad they're back. Okay, so we're on to history. It is thought that Harriet Tubman directly rescued around 300 people from slavery and gave instructions to help dozens more. But in which conflict did she become the first woman to lead an armed assault? Is it the Bay of Pigs invasion? Is it the Falklands conflict? Is it the Vietnam War or is it the American Civil War? Ooh, I can see Adam nice. Frankel got his answer in right away, quicker than I can actually read the question. So, wow, what a guy. And the answer is the American mm -hmm. Civil War, as 63% of you correctly said. Herman's getting a PS5. Dad really wants a PS5 and Paul. Oh, no. Next oh. question. Sarah don't care. Um, which medieval queen was married to both Louis the Seventh of France and Henry the Second of England? Oh. Uh, is that Constance of Castile, Eleanor of Aquitaine, Adele of Champagne, or Blanche Castile? They're all queens and they all were married to people. But which was married to Louis the Seventh of France and Henry the Second of England? You tell me. No, Vic, I'm not. Well, I've got Adam's new one, so that's mine by proxy, I guess. Um, it is Eleanor of Aquitaine, as 85% of you said, and as there's 20 on the quiz, that would mean 17 of you. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. Adam's got the Xbox. Okay, in which decade did the potato famine strike Ireland? Was it the 1860s, the 1850s, the 1840s, or the 1870s? Um, a chap called Benjamin Gross has just said, your mum. She does do this quiz. Yes, thank you. Okay, so um, <laughs> in which decade did the potato famine of Ireland strike? Was it the 60s, the 50s, the 40s, or the 70s? Oh, we've got 21 on the quiz. Excellent. 1840s, as 23% of you said. I'm not really Benny, I'm your hero. Okay, right, okay. Um, well, my hero is Grant Holt, was Freddie Mercury. Um, um, I, I don't think you're Freddie, obviously. During 1963 uh, in Washington, D.C., Martin Luther King gave his famous I Have a Dream speech on the steps of which famous landmark? Is it Lincoln Memorial, Thomas Jefferson Memorial, Franklin Roosevelt Memorial, or Washington Monument? It may well be. It's Benjamin Gross. My... I can't see the picture, but I think Benjamin Gross is my dad. I think my dad might be on YouTube. Um, it is the Lincoln Memorial, as 61% of you said. Apparently Charlotte's Hero 2, so that would make sense. Oh, that's a lovely picture of you, Charlotte. Yeah, uh, it's your dad. Oh my god, my dad's on YouTube and he's chatting. The, the world. Who was the last star? I think oh, it is I'm your not dad. your dad. This is like some weird saw thing. Where which? Like, what? Who was the last star of Russia? Is it Boris it's Godunov, Russia. Catherine the Great, Alexander the First, or Nicholas the Second? I was still learning the golfing pros. Uh, I was still learning when the golfing pros asked about my handicap. Apparently, I don't know how to play golf. Was not the right answer. <laughs> Good one, actually. Okay, Charlotte, would you stop that and move around, please? Okay, and the answer is Nicholas II. He was the last Tsar of Russia. Yeah. Sadly, after my friend's accident, he's now housebound. He got his finger trapped in a wedding ring. <laughs> Good one. Have you, have you put that, that requested round on? Which was... requested round? The one that everyone requested. Oh. Name the no wrestler. wrestler. Is it? Is it Rikishi, about. Samoa Joe, or Umaga? Oh, that looks. Uh, I don't. Sorry, Pino. Go ahead. 
You can almost read it. Just realise you can read his name on his pants. So that's probably going to give it away. Um, but yeah, who is that wrestler? Oh, I know. All those three that uh, are, are um, Samoan wrestlers. But which one is that one there? And the answer is Rikishi, as 57% of you said. And despite his name being written on his shorts, 42% of you said Samoa Joe. Okay, so, and here we go. Leaderboard after the first <laughs> round. In first, the Spillsby Herdmans. Second is Fruit Snake. Third is Hannah. Fourth is the Herdmans. And fifth is Belushi. Herdmans. At what number does a dart player begin at when playing darts? Is it 500, 501, 301, 250? There you go, Otis the Shark King. There's your darts question. Um, Dad, can I do the, that one next round? I don't think a letter to Santa, Mum, is going to get me a PS5, if I'm being honest. Well, I Maybe a letter to PS5. some loans, people. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, so... Maybe being very nice to your wife. <sighs> not what happened, is it? 501 is the answer. 95% of you said. I'm multitasking, so not even in the top 10 yet. Yes, you can, Charlotte. Yes, you can, Charlotte. Who is that? Who is that? I don't know who it is. I'm trying to see the little picture. I'll have a look. Well, we okay. What is the national? No. What is the national sport of Papua New Guinea? Is it rugby league, rugby union, amateur wrestling, or hockey? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll look at the little picture now. Huh? It's somebody with a moustache. It's not your dad. Okay, so what is the national sport of Papua New Guinea? Rugby league, rugby union, amateur wrestling, or hockey? And the answer is rugby league. The pitch is not me. Okay. Uh, Paul from Skegness says, I have been to Papua New Guinea. Very good, Paul. Did you play rugby league? And the That's probably why you got it wrong then. Yeah, so 33% of you said rugby league, 33% of you were right. To the closest mile, how long is the course of the boat race? Is it three miles, six miles, oh. four miles, or five miles? It's the closest mile. The picture isn't him. Yes, well, let's stop. The Benjamin Gross riddle, you'll have to give us some more clues. So to the closest mile, how long is the course of the boat race? <gasps> he might be Rory. Rory might be playing. Might be, yeah. It's four miles. There's forty-seven point six percent. You said oh, it might be Rory or Nathan. Oh, it might could be, be Nathan. Yeah. Well, 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 I'm sure we'll find out at some point. It's four miles. There's forty-seven percent of you said. So well done. The boat race, boring, isn't it? Um. It could be <laughs> Rory or Nathan being very weird. Okay. Next question. Shake hand grip and pen hold group are common grips in which sport? Is it pole vault, javelin, table tennis, or hockey? Hockey. <laughs> and I've got some thrilling news for you lot. Uh, halfway through the quiz, I'll be trying a peanut butter and jelly porter. Oh, I can't wait. And you're going to be the first people to see me try it. Oh, the Herdman's, Elliot, Monica. Oh, and, and the answer is, is table, table tennis. 57% of you got that bang on. That is a common grip for... Um, the shake hand grip and pen hold group, they're the common grips in table tennis. Okay, so it's still very tight at the top, uh, nearly at the end of the sports round now. How many players are there in an Olympic curling team? Is it three, six, five, or four? Frank, four seconds. Whoa. Mm -hmm. I know, Vic. I'm very excited. I'm a little bit scared and also very excited. So yes, how many players I'm are there in an sure. Olympic curling team? Is it three, six, five, or four? I'm scared about this um, person who won't tell us his name. And it is four, as 61% of you got exactly right. Charlotte, top five, let's go. Um, In fifth is Hannah. In fourth is... Who's that? Helen. Helen. In third is Fruit Snake. In second is Bal um, Spills Be Heard Mins. <laughs> And in first is Belushi. Name the wrestler. wrestler. That's an easy one. Is it John Cena, The Miz, or CM Punk? Charlotte, you've met him. No, no you haven't. You weren't alive. She wasn't born, but I have. Sarah's met him. He was very nice. Very high nice five. man. Give me a high five. Now a UFC fighter. Is that mm -hmm. helpful? I, 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 I don't know. But I, I, name I, the wrestlers. Helping Helen. 
I, I don't I don't know, but it's really it's tricky nice, to it's nice to see fruit snake back. Oh yeah, fruit snake is back. Fruit snake's back, and that's a good good thing. Okay, fifty four percent of you got CM Punk and fifty four percent of you are exactly it, right. It is CM Punk. Met him at Minehead. Met him at Minehead, yes. Before I was We're it. losing people on the stream. What? Oh dear. Oh well. Okay. <laughs> Next question coming up. Ten people. What which is the smallest county in mainland England? Is it Middlesex, no. Rutland, Bedfordshire, or Hertfordshire? The smallest county yes. in mainland England. Is it Middlesex, Rutland, Bedfordshire, or Hertfordshire? <laughs> Um, can something. someone tell me if I'm still online? Because I seem to be losing a lot of viewers. Okay, the smallest county in mainland England, Middlesex, Rutland, Bedfordshire, or Hertfordshire? It is Rutland, as 71% of you got exactly right. Just, just unpopular then. Okay, cool. Um, so it is Rutland, as 71% of you got uh, yes, correct. Yes, it's Rutland. Yes, I know, he's doing it. Yeah. Frankel, so wow. Frankel has entered the top. Five. In which Scandinavian country would you mainly find mainly find fjords? Ooh, Is it Norway, Finland, oh. Denmark, or Iceland? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mainly. Oh okay, so there might be guy. more than one country, but this is mainly. Dad, that's tight. It is tight, yeah. <laughs> and this is tight, tight yeah. Um, <laughs> brilliant. Okay, uh, it is Norway. As eighty-six percent of you got right. Well done. Whoa! 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 whoa. Mm. Oh, it looks like. Okay, mm -hmm. next question mm -hmm. coming up. Uh, Mike and Lewis are not about. I don't know where they are. How many national parks are there in Wales? Is it five, four, two, or three? Yeah, so, how many national parks are there in Wales? Five, four, two, or three? I think Mike's upstairs, probably um, in Ryan's room. And Lewis, I think he's outside. Good to see so many of you on the quiz tonight. I think we've got 21, 22, which is great. 21, 22. Oh, my God, Rory's doing it. Awesome. And it's three, as 46% of you said. <gasps> so National Parks in Wales, there are three of them. 46% so, of you got so that. that Bang on. Belushi Gross, I'm climbing. Yeah, Benjamin Gross is climbing. So whoever that is, he's doing well. Okay, next question. What is looked down upon in Japanese restaurants? Now, this was illegal for a while, but it's now just looked down upon. Is it loud talking, taking photographs, tipping or singing? I was watching Jurassic Park and thought, not only does my son have a stupid name, he's a terrible driver as well. <laughs> I was watching Jurassic Park. Oh, well, I suppose that's how you say it, isn't mm. it? So, what's looked down upon in Japanese restaurants? It is tipping, as uh, 68% of you said. There you go. Tipping it used point. to be illegal, apparently, but mm. now it's just looked down upon. Don't know why. Maybe it's suggesting the person who you're tipping isn't being paid enough and therefore you need to supplement their income. I don't know. Frank is climbing. Franco is climbing, yes. Franco is climbing. Okay, next question. Which majestic mountain range would you find in Switzerland? Is it the Alps, the We've Pyrenees, Balkans, or the Vosges? Vosges. Bo I know how to say that. It's that's the line. Vosges. So changes the terrible camera on this. Vosges. Vosges, yes. So which majestic mountain range would you find in Switzerland? Charlotte, will you sit still? It is the Alps, as 86% of you said. Uh, Vic, ask what you want from Father Christmas, Charlotte. Uh, I would like, um, that, what is it called? Um, oh, uh, paint by number and... Name the wrestler! Is that Buff Bagwell, Roman Reigns or Luther Reigns? Um, Name the wrestler. Paint by number. Uh, she wants art things. She wants arty things, Vic. Paint by number. Paint by numbers. Oh yes, it is on his hat and dungarees. Well, you'll all get that right. And if you do, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh my no, one gosh. of these quizzes. Oh my goodness, you see, still people got it wrong. 86% of you got the buff bag well, a lesser known WCW wrestler. Um, and I one, like, I, like I think the one truth. person put Roman Reigns and two put Luther oh, Reigns. And it's right there. Yeah, buff is the stuff, but it could just mean he's buff, couldn't it? Anyway, next, uh, which husband wife? So we're on to films now. Which husband wife duo starred in 2018's horror film A Quiet Place? So is it Emily in... Blunt, Peter Sarsgaard, John Krasinski, or Maggie Gyllenhaal? So obviously you need two here. You need two. So in fifth is um, Helen. In fourth is um, Frankel. In third is Fruit Snake. In second is Spilsby Hermans. <laughs> And in first is Belushi. Yeah, so the correct answers to that one are Emily Blunt and John Krasinski. Quiet Place, fantastic film. Sequel should have come out about three months ago, um, next year now. Um, oh, yeah, so we know who Benjamin Gross is now. It is Frankel because he's just put that cost him a crown. So I, hello, Frankel, all the way from the US of A watching me on YouTube. Oh, I'm doing the quiz. Which TV theme begins with the words, you know we belong together? Mm. Is it Home and Away, Crossroads, Neighbours or El Dorado? Mm. El Dorado. If, You'll be playing for I'm crowns ask after if this. Doing the quiz. Sorry? Will you be playing for crowns after this? No, no four guys tonight. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you can if you want. Um, I know all of them are doing the quiz. Thank you all for doing it. It's very kind. Uh, so, which TV theme begins with the words you know we're on together? It is Home and Away, as 54% of you got correct. As we near the end, well, near the start, sorry, the TV and film round, it's still very tight. Top five, you could amazing. This is much better than last week. We had a flyaway winner, and um, I think it was a bit too hard last week, actually. They're, okay, they're in the Harry them. Potter series, what animal represents Hufflepuff House? Is it lion, snake, raven, or badger? Thick and so, down, straight in there. Which animal no. represents the Hufflepuff House? Is it lion, snake, raven, or badger? And as we near the halfway state of the quiz. It's time for my peanut butter jelly stout in a minute. Ryan is not doing the quiz. Yes, Vic, you are. Can you it is uh, a badger, get the peanut butter stout? As 77% of you said, it is stout. a badger. badger well badger, done, badger, 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 badger. badger, 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 badger. Okay. So it's getting incredibly tight, especially from second to fourth. Wow. One See, chap at the top that... starting to run away with it. That Monica's just jumped from fifth. Who plays Tommy Shelby in Peaky Blinders? Is it Paul Anderson, Cillian Murphy, Finn Cole, or Tom Hardy? All people who feature in um, Peaky Blinders. But who plays the leading role? Is it Paul Anderson, Cillian Murphy, Finn Cole, or Tom Hardy? Fifth just jumped up to second. So. Pesco, Aldi, and Little are giving away free turkeys to anyone who could outrun yeah. security. Is this the one? That's the one. Okay, so here we go. It's a uh, much more important than the quiz. I'm about to have a peanut butter and jelly mm -hmm. porter. Oh, my. You can still watch it. No, no, this is tonight. I couldn't wait. Can you just give that a quick swill out? Wash out, please. Keeps her buzzy busy, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> Next question coming up. Um, in Pulp Fiction, what song do John Travolta and Uma Thurman dance to? Is it Let's Stay Together, You Never Can Tell, Son of a Preacher Man, or Girl, You'll Be a Woman? So, should we watch Pulp Fiction tonight? <laughs> Every time I mention it, I want to watch it. Okay, what song do John Travolta and Uma Thurman dance to? They're all in the soundtrack, all four of those songs. But which ones do they get onto the dance floor and have a little jig to? I found a £20 note on floor uh, as yesterday. I wasn't sure what to do. Then I thought, oh, what would Jesus do? So I turned it into wine. Um, <laughs> very good, actually. You Never Can Tell by Buddy Holly is correct. Not Son of a Preacher, man, as most of you pop. So there you go. Okay, next question coming up. Name the two wrestlers. Eddie Guerrero, Perry Saturn. Charbo Guerrero or Moppy? So there's two answers to this one. One of them should be pretty obvious, but who's the other chap? Oh, the other chap is a stick. Okay, just pulling it out. Very exciting, actually. Please, next door. If you hear down, barking, prepare. it's next door. Okay, so the answer to that one is 
Perry Saturn and Moppy uh, in the uh, storyline because wrestling's real. Um, that chap there uh, fell in love with that mop, and his girlfriend wasn't very happy, so they put the mop into like one of those shredding machines, and he was distraught. What a storyline! That's why I used to watch. That's what I still watch. Worrying. Uh, which of the following are astronauts not permitted to eat before going into space? Peanut butter, seafood, beans, or eggs? Frankly, Most people are born in a hospital. I was given to my mother in a wrapped up box. Ooh, I was a gifted child. Oh. Very good. Right, top five. Here we go. I'm doing okay. it this time. Uh, in, no, fifth... Uh, no. <clears throat> in fifth is Helen. In fourth is Hannah. In third Hi, is Spilsby. Uh, Spilsby Herdman's. <laughs> in second is Frankel. And in first is Blue. It is beans. For an well, obvious reason, you. flatulence. Well, I assume it's because of flatulence. I've literally no idea. I thought it might be eggs uh, for flatulence as well, but also seafood in case it was off. I don't know. It's likely to be off, isn't it? Seafood. Or peanuts in case. Uh, how many action. bones are there in the human body? Is it 431, 206, 184, or 312? Okay, while you're answering that question, I'm going to try my peanut butter and jelly stout. Oh. Can I, can I smell it? I'm not going to taste it. I'm going to smell it. Oh my gosh. Smell it, smell it. I'm not getting peanut butter jelly. Okay, let's just taste it. Can it tastes. And the answer is 206. There you are. We get the fruitness right at the end and the peanut right at the start. Oh, that's amazing. Just give a few minutes to answer that one on the score. Uh, there's 206 bones in the human body. Who cares? That drink. Right, what name is given to baby hedgehogs? And just think about this. Is it Kits, Leverets or Hoglets? There's a very obvious one there, which you would think, nah, I ain't going to be that one, Richard. That's stupid. I know, because um, Jilly asked me. Baby thank you to all 22 of you for taking part in the quiz tonight. That is a lot tonight. Well done, thank you. Have you had a good week? <laughs> We've already asked them that. Um, no, they've asked you. Oh, have you had oh, a short oh, report? Oh, yeah, Charlotte got her report today. No. Awful. Awful. It was amazing. It was amazing. And yes, I, I was have amazing. had a good... And I yes... was amazing. Dear goodness. Um, Dear um, goodness. Yeah. I have had a good time thing. at school today. What name is given to a badger's home? Is it a burrow, a den, a lodge, or a set? There's your gimme of the round. I, I think I know what it is. Mama. We have. No, it's not den. Um, I don't know if uh, David does dojos, but she got thirty-one dojos. She got thirty-one dojos today. I don't know. What no, I mean. this week. No, this week. I don't know what it means. Mama. No. Charlotte, stop guessing. Huh? It is a set. Ah, uh, well, nearly all of you got. Well done. Uh, my recent venture to set up a national bungee jumping club in Prague sadly had its financials finances pulled. Apparently, my checks years, were bouncing. Thought... The second... Years, oh, I thought awful. of Badger's home was a burrow and it's a set. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many how many noses oh. do you do oh. slugs have? Four, three, two, or one? There you are. Yeah, who cares? That is one of the nicest drinks I've ever had, and I include all drinks in that. That is amazing. even triple XP. Yeah, it's up there. It's top tennis. It's top tennis. So I've how many done. noses do slugs I've have? I've done it. It is <laughs> rude. It's four, four. as 27% of you do. Said, 27% of you do. Okay. You just criticise her English, yet you can't My see. English is dreadful tonight, but <laughs> she hasn't had a peanut butter jelly style, has she? Why well, does it keep others. turning and lighting them dark? Lighting them dark. Because the... Ambience. Name the video game. Okay. Is that Super Knockout, Punch Out, or Ready to Rumble? All Ooh. real games apart from A. But <laughs> <laughs> Ready to Rumble was actually on the Dreamcast. Is that a Dreamcast game? It's not, is it? Um, so is it Super Knockout, Punch Out, or Ready to Rumble? Oh, I know. Um, if someone could get others to subscribe to my channel, if I get to a thousand subscribers. I can actually go live via my iPad, which is a much better camera. So if we can all do that, that would be And great. the answer is Punch-Out. It is Punch-Out. Um, there was also Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. That was on the, um, I think it was on the SNES. 
maybe the Nez. And that reminds me, I need to bring my account tools downstairs. Uh, um, but yeah, I think it was the Snez or the Nez. Anyway, so someone find out for me. Okay, what form of government? So here we are, back to school round. What form of government do we give credit to the ancient Greeks for? Is it the Republic, dictatorship, or democ democracy? Democracy. Um, okay, if alcohol can damage your short-term memory, just think what alcohol could do. Brilliant. In Go. fifth is Monica. In fourth is the Hermans. In um. Third is Hannah, in second is Frankel, and in first is Belushi. Okay, in the first question from the back to school round, which is back, Herbman's, just for you, it's democracy as a form of government. If uh, they do get harder. They do get harder and they do get more mathematical. Ooh. Yes, that's right, more mathematical. Ooh. What's the definition of an acute angle? An angle bigger than 90 degrees, an angle less than 90 degrees, or an angle measuring 90 degrees. Just think of the name, acute angle. What things are usually cute? That's how I used to remember it. Uh, cats are cute. Kittens are cute. Dogs are cute. Oh, my mum always used to say, 40 oh. is a new 30. Lovely woman, banned from driving. And the answer is less. Than an angle well. less than 90 degrees is correct, of course. And who got that wrong? No, he's an oh, of course, Frankel is an extra maths teacher, so he should smash this because there is another maths question coming up. What is 13 sevenths as a mixed number? Is it one and six sevenths, one and five sevenths, two and one sevenths, or two and well two done, sevenths? Frankel. And wow, the quickness with which Frankel and the Spilsby Hermans and Belushi, to be fair, answered that question was insane. Oh. If I'm obsessed with blood circulation, does that make me vain? Oh. oh. Well done. Love this round, says Frankel. Thank you very much. Not many people do. That's why I don't like writing it. It's one and six sevenths, as seventy-two percent of you said. The back to school round is rocking. And I still couldn't tell you who's going to win this. <laughs> I'm in a band called Prevention. When people ask if we're any good, I say we're better than the cure. Um, in which direction does friction act on a moving object? Is it forwards, backwards, downwards, or upwards? Come on, Frank. I don't see your name popping up. That there was we slow, go. Slow, slow. Okay, in which direction does friction act on a moving object? Is it forwards, backwards, downwards, or upwards? I just say thank you to everyone well, for taking part tonight. Well, 22, I think, is the third highest we've ever had. And the the, the, the top highest we ever had was um when I said it was my last one. Slow. And it wasn't. Okay, it's backwards, because, of course, a car going forward will be stopped, friction of the road. Well, that it. <laughs> Great demonstration. 70% <laughs> of you got that right. And I don't think Frankel did, Shane. <laughs> We have a runaway leader. Fill in the blanks. Because oh. energy cannot be created or destroyed in both endothermic and exothermic reactions, the total energy, what? Changes, reduces, stays the same or increases. Well, there you go. Huh? The back to school round is nearly finished, thank I God. <laughs> it will be back every week because oh. that's been missed. I really think it's been missed. No. It has been Monica with a very the slow answer there. It stays the same as most of you got right. <laughs> because if you could look at the ant question, it kind of gives you it. The police just came to my door and said that my wife's in hospital and she's very critical. I said, what? What's she complaining about now? <sighs> anyway, next question. And someone needs to catch Belushi because he is flying away. Name the video game. Is that Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario Sunshine or Mario 64? Three games which either. feature in the new Switch game, which I want, uh, which let's, fingers crossed, I'll be getting in December. Okay, so name the video game. Superman. Oh, Sarah's looking at me. Uh, so <laughs> what is that video game? Is it on your Santa's list? I'm, I'm gonna, it's going to be on my Santa's okay. list. It is Mario 64, as 59% of you said, a true classic of the genre. Oh, yay, love. Mm. Yeah. Well, is that Jack with the rude name? I don't know. I didn't see the rude name, so oh. I don't know. Um, I, I've given my, I've given 
up my criminal behavior and pulled myself together. I've even got a proper job at the archery supply company. The I'm on the straight and narrow now. The co what color are aircraft black boxes? Is it orange, black, blue, or white? So what color are aircraft black boxes? We are into the potluck round, which is usually the last round, but I've, sh I've totally shaken it up today. It's not the last round. Do you know why? Because I forgot to I forgot to move the questions around. So it's not, and, I didn't even mean to do this. So what the, color are aircraft black boxes? The, orange, black, white, or what? Blue or white? And it is orange. This. It's eighty-one percent of you said go. And in fifth is Monica. In th fourth is Hannah. In third is the Herdmans. In um second second is Frankel. And then first is Belushi with a hundred and eighty-nine points. Which game demonstrated on television in 1966 did competitors accuse of being sex in a box? <laughs> is it Trivial Pursuit? Is it Pictionary? Is it Twister? Or is it Hungry Hippos? <laughs> <laughs> I really love Hungry Hippos. Oh, I love Hungry Hippos. <laughs> I also like it's the fake game. one, that Hungry Frogs. It's the same game, isn't it? Just whack on those things. Whack on the book. <laughs> Who's outside? Oh, one of the cats have turned the security light on. And the answer, of course, <clears throat> is Twister. But thank God, three of you thought, you know what, Trivial Pursuit, why not? <laughs> I don't know how Trivial Pursuit could ever be accused of being sexy, but there you go. What is the Scoville scale used to measure? Is it wind speed, earthquakes, noise, or space? Frankel's the first one. To answer. Well, yeah, because I think Frankel does have a lot of these. Well, it is in America, so that could be earthquakes, couldn't it? And he does make a lot of noise, um, and he has got a lot of flatulence. So it could be any of them. Yeah, I think he's on the hurricane belt, yeah. isn't he? And the answer is... I'd have hoped this is quite... It's spiciness. So officially, the Scoville scale is the pungency of chilli peppers. That's the official name for it. Pungency. Oh, Ooh. And it's getting very tight at the top. Ooh. And if I'm being honest, very tight for third. Can't met with eight questions left, nine questions left, sorry. This could go anywhere. How could a vampire enter the home of a living person? Is it flying through the window? Can they just walk in? Do they have to go to the rear entrance? Or do they have to be invited in? Watchers of Buffy should know this instantly. Frankel, straight should, there. Yeah, might not expect it because he was a Buffy fan. Um, but how could a vampire enter the home of a living person? Obviously, this isn't factual. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this isn't really true. But <laughs> in mythology, they have to be invited in. I like the one person who just said, just walk in. <laughs> just walk in. <laughs> they couldn't do it probably in reality, couldn't they? The back door. Yes. Well, I put that on one for you, for Rangel, because I knew you'd take part tonight. Um, <laughs> Okay, it's very tight at the top now. Very, very tight. Okay, the Velocipede was a 19th century prototype of what? Was it a train, a bicycle, a car, or a plane? Hmm, a Velocipede. I thought it was an insect when I first wrote the question. Charlotte, were you like Lewis? These, these three. I will. And tight, there you go. That's where Lewis is. Lewis is just outside the window, Vic. That's where he is. So yeah. the Velocipede was a 19th century prototype of what? It was a bicycle. Look, there's three points in it at the top. There's three points in it. Fastest finger first, but think about it. And then four points for third. My dog's learning to speak a foreign language. Espanol? No, he's a Labrador. Oh, dear God. Um, name the video game. Is that Shemu? Oh, God. Final Fantasy VIII. The Hermans were banging there. Or Persona 5. Well, Anyone yeah, who knows me knows what this is. I'm sure you tormented poor Lindsay by getting that. Well, oh, your Herman loves it. I still haven't played the third one. I can't bring that. It's just so dull. Have you got but I have got it. Yes. But... Okay, name the video game. It is Shemu. Of course, it's Shemu. It's fifty-four percent of you because... got correct. There is five points in it at the top, and third <laughs> is strung over six points between third to fifth. So it's very, very tight. Okay, next question coming up in the final round, which rather strangely is the music round. 
what is the name of the group Justin Timberlake used to be part of? Is it the Backstreet Boys, the New Kids on the Block, or is it NSYNC? I asked the librarian if the library had any books about paranoia. She whispered, they're right behind you. <laughs> Good one, actually. Okay, what is the name of the group Justin Timberlake used to be a part of? Is it the Backstreet Boys, New Kids on the Block, or NSYNC? And the answer is NSYNC, as 81% of you said. Well done. At the gimme of the round. Backstreet Boys, I could see that. New Kids on the Block, a bit too old, I assume. Okay, next question, the music round. And we only have five questions left. What was the title of George Michael's first solo single? Was it Jesus to a Child, Careless Whisper, Outside, or Fast Love? Was it Jesus to a Child, Careless Whisper, Outside, or Fast Love? I was at a new national vegan centre today. Well worth the butchers. <laughs> okay. George Michael's first solo single. Um, it was Careless Whisper. The Gazatron has arrived and has just told me that uh, he's found out my granddad is addicted to Viagra. Nobody's taken it harder than my grandmother. That is too rude for this quiz. <laughs> I should have read that before I read it out. I do apologise to any children watching. How many keys does a classical piano have? Is it 88? I don't know what that means. 86? 98 or 78? Classic piano. But have you noticed no spelling mistakes so far? Um, is it 88, 86, 98 or 78? A classic piano. How many keys do they have? Still can't tell you who's going to win it tonight. Frank will really enjoy that joke. Well, you would. And the answer is 88. And 50% of you said, and we have a joint leader oh. with four questions left. Three questions left. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Maths. <laughs> so it's between two for the winner. I can't tell you where. Okay. I wish, I wish, who, who originally sang Moon River? Is it Frank Sinatra, Gladys Knight, Tony Bennett or Audrey Hepburn? The current leader has put his finger on the button very quickly there. Very quickly, I do hope he's not chosen the obvious answer because, let's be honest, the obvious answer is A. But is it A? Let's find out. By me saying I hope he hasn't, that's probably not right. And the answer is <laughs> Audrey Hepburn. As only 27% of you said, and he did get it right. Wow. Okay, he knew that. He didn't, though. He did not. Next question, and you should all know this. This is the gimme of the round coming up. Oh, so get your fingers it. ready oh, on that it. dial. Come on. You should all know this one. What was the first album by Lincolnshire's premier folk rock group, Rake Up Call? Was it Wake Up With Rake Up? Was it What Happened In Verse 4? Was it Lark Rise, <laughs> Easter Egg Herbans? Or was it Noise and Confusion? Um, it's... Is it Wake Up With Rake Up? Is it what? Shut yes, up, of course up. you know. It's over there. What is what happened in verse four? Is it Lark Rise or is it Noise is and it, Confusion? Is, is it like that? It is what happened in verse four as 28% of you got. Well, well done. <laughs> I didn't expect that many to get it right. I think and Belushi <laughs> How did you get that one right? I'm, 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 well, I must have gone on about it to too many people. Yeah, you can still buy it today. Five pounds. It's yours. He must have heard about it's it. It's amazing. Office. Last it? question. Name the, the video, video game. game. Is that SSX? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it Cool Borders? Or is it one of my and Herman's favourite games ever? Lilyhammer 1994. Herman was in there quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it isn't Lilyhammer 1994 because that was on the Amiga. Uh, but is this SSX or is it Cool Borders? So, yeah. Is it SSX or is it Cool <laughs> Borders? You okay. tell me. Charlotte. I Another game. It. From the aforementioned PlayStation Classic, that is Cool Borders, not SSX, as most people chose. Frank again got that wrong. Frankly, so you fell you. away in that last round. Okay, so that is the end of the quiz. Let's do the top ten, and you will let me do the top ten. Can I do the top no. five? You can do the top five. I'll do ten to six. How's that? Okay, okay. in tenth, well done, Tommy Tank. In ninth, Helen, you smashed it. In eighth, 
is Burn That Condor, which is my mate Rory, who I play with on the PS PlayStation because I'm really cool. In seventh is Fruit Snake, which is actually Alan. Well done, Alan. Another good showing. In the sixth is the Herdmans. That's the Herdmans from Grimsby. And go, Charlotte. And in fifth is Monica. In fourth is Hannah. In third is Spilsby Herdmans. And in Frankel is... And in Frankel is... <laughs> Second. Second is Frankel. Yeah. And, and this week's third. winner is... And this week's winner is Belushi! Well done, Belushi. I think that's your first win. Well, if I've got that wrong, please tell me. Uh, but well done. A new winner is always great in my book. Ooh. Helen, well done for top ten for the first time ever in how many weeks we've been doing this. Not that I'm saying anything... But wow, still good. Top 10. Well done, you. Um, how many weeks are you doing this? I don't know. It's the, it's the fourth one this time, but I think it's we nice did about Rory. 20 before. Uh, yeah, nice to see Rory. And Nathan was somewhere. He definitely won top 10. So out of the PlayStation boys, because we're really cool, uh, well done to Frankel for winning that little contest in second with 230 points. And but Belushi, and... thanks to that last, that, thanks to his superior knowledge of Rake Up, Lincoln's premier folk rock band um you came first congratulations well done um if we'd finished on 25 questions i'd have been in the top five well unfortunately uh if i just presented a quiz with 25 questions one i'd probably get more viewers because it wouldn't go on for 40 minutes um, but two will be very long so it's still going to stick the same i think i think 50 is the perfect length um thank you mom i hope you did well obviously not that well you're not in the top 10 um but you know you'll get there one day um <laughs> thank you Vic. um another great quiz yeah i think much better than last week i lost my i'm not gonna lie to you people i lost my mojo a bit last week I, I wasn't really in it and i felt a bit down after the quiz uh but i think this week has been much better thanks to name the wrestler um name the video game and, and of course to back to school so they're all coming back next week um yeah that's right so well, it, it means you don't have to write two rounds because two of the rounds i actually do myself Video games, yeah, you know? and you're running out of wrestlers. Let's be honest, <laughs> getting obscure. We just uh, thank you, Herman's little message from uh, Franco. Uh, Franco says, Get on four guys. Sorry, Franco, I'm too drunk uh, from this porter, and I'm just gonna sit and watch Google okay, Box. Okay. Um, to Christine, no, Christine, yeah, I've said thank you to Christine. No. Franco says, Thank you, Christine. Thank you, Christine. <laughs> I don't get it. Um, I did try to join you on Zoom, yes, Christine, thank you, but you're the only one who turned up. Um, anyway, I'm going now, waffling. So I'll see you all next week, eight o'clock, for another lockdown quiz, part five. Or I might just call it, call it the tier three quiz. I don't know, maybe. Um, don't have the same ring to it. Anyway, see you in a bit. Still not Have a good one, everyone. Pop.